If you've ever dreamed about turning a key and opening a door to your house that you own or driven through a neighborhood and asked yourself, what would it take to live there? Schools First Federal Credit Union is here to share what makes the market tick and how to make your dream home a reality. Let's welcome Jason Fonseca, their Senior Learning Specialist. Welcome, Jason. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Desiree. Yeah, I'm happy to talk to you. So, Jason, can you give us the overall landscape for buyers and sellers right now? What trends are prevailing and what opportunities are on the horizon? Yeah, absolutely. That's the million dollar question right now. How can I buy and sell inside of this market right now? And if you're a buyer, you're dealing with high interest rates and you're dealing with low inventory because the people with low interest rates want to hold on their homes right rightfully so and you got other economic concerns that you have to be worried about and pay attention to uh, so to sum it up if you're buying right now you have high interest rates and you have high housing costs and it's just not a real good outlook right now for a buyer and if we're talking about sellers it kind of comes back to the whole buying side of things because if you're looking to sell you're probably looking to buy on the back end and if you're looking at for say a 30-year fix you're getting about an average of six to six point five percent and if you're adding insurance and taxes and everything that needs to be on that payment you're looking at a much higher payment than what you're probably looking at on your current first mortgage so it's leading a lot of sellers to kind of stay put where they're at right now uh -huh. and it's kind of a tricky landscape right now with real estate yeah it sounds like a juggling act because if you're looking to sell your home you obviously want it for a really great price but then when you got to buy a home you want to get it for a fairly reasonable price as well so yes. let's unravel our first inquiry a curious first-time home buyer ponders the perfect timing amidst the current rates and prices like you were mentioning what's the savvy move to make there wow so it's complicated but if you're looking for like an easy quick answer yeah. uh, it's just not a good time to buy right now however if you're patient and you're willing to wait and see if this market rebounds you could find that you're in a good place to be in the home that you want as opposed to the home that you just can afford right now mm -hmm. and there's a lot of good things to do while you wait to put yourself in success to be in that first step of becoming a home buyer and a lot, one of those things is to make sure that you're paying down your credit card debt keeping mm -hmm. that low as possible mm -hmm. uh, making sure that you are paying all your debt your credit cards your loans on time and ensuring that you know you're getting that credit score to the highest point that you possibly can get it to yeah. so that way you're in position to buy a home for the lowest interest rate that you possibly can get saving tens of thousands of dollars on the life of the loan itself and then also making sure you have that low monthly payment that everyone wants now yeah. if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you just don't care what the market looks like you're like I don't want to rent no more I don't want to have like a landlord anymore I want to buy something for myself just know that you can actually refinance any time down the road but the big question is if the rates go down and when that will be no one knows and if it's gonna happen and how much that will actually be yeah and it sounds like with the waiting game too while you're waiting for the prices to be a little bit better you can yes. also be investing in saving to get that new home as you wait as well too so what about a homeowner with a wealth of equity seeking cash for a significant expense and they want to refinance what are alternate options to safeguard that low interest rate while assessing much needed funds I love that question thanks for bringing it up it's so <laughs> important right now I mean there's always another option than refinancing out of the rate that you want to keep one thing that people are leaning on right now is home equity loans and home equity lines of credit Credit. and either one of these are great options to ensure that you're keeping that low interest rate on your first mortgage while tapping into the equity that you've earned yeah. um, so a home equity loan is a second mortgage that's probably gonna have a higher interest rate than what you're used to seeing on your first mortgage but yeah. you're not paying that on the full balance so for example if you have a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage right now you're gonna keep that interest rate the same and you're gonna take 30 against it in a home equity loan you're only gonna be paying the interest on that alone um, and if you're getting a home equity line of credit this is an open Open line of credit that has a variable rate for a set amount uh, which means that the rate will change but what you're basically going to be seeing on that is if we did the same example for 30,000 and you're using only 5,000 of it mm -hmm. you're only going to be paying the interest on what you're using so it's all really good options depending on what your financial situation is and what your needs are at the time okay all very helpful tips and what are some final words of wisdom to guide our viewers on their property journey so I have really two really good tips here make sure that we're following ensuring that we're doing Doing our homework and research 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 when it comes to buying and selling a home one of the main things that you want to research is who's my real estate agent going to be mm -hmm. it's such a critical part of the home buying and selling process this real estate agent is going to make sure that you are getting the home price for what you want it for agreeing on those terms that you're going to have um, and you don't want to go into that willy-nilly and just kind of pick someone based off of a sense of obligation right yeah. if you have a friend or a family member that just got their real estate license and maybe they want to use you as part of their business make sure that you're 
researching what's best for you because having the wrong real estate agent could be a costly mistake. And if we're talking about research, make sure you're using the tools that you have available to you for free. One resource uh, that you have is schoolsfirstfcu.org and our financial wellness tab. And you can learn about this topic and any other financial topic that will help you on your financial journey. All right, all very helpful tips as we look into our real estate reality. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, Desiree. You bet. And like you mentioned, you can visit one of the many schools first federal credit union branch locations as seen on the screen and as always you can find out more by going to schoolsfirstfcu.org still to come we'll look into